Hey, what's up, guys? Zach Johnson, Scientist of Sound for an Honorable Pod. You don't typically see me. You don't really hear a lot from me. I'm the guy that does the voice on the intro to the show, and I also uh, mix together the sound to make Jeff and Shane sound as uh, good as I can, at least, with those two guys. But today, I've been asked to do a video because uh, the show this week, CM Punk's final show with ROH, Punk the Final Chapter, is a show that's very near and dear to uh, my heart. It's a very special moment for a lot of Ring of Honor fans at the time. And it was a very special moment for me. Uh, it was my first Chicago show for Ring of Honor. It was the first time I had ever done the Double Shot Weekend. I went to uh, Dayton the night before. And my friends and I, we had been regulars for some time at the uh, ROH shows in Dayton. This was the first time we did the Dayton Chicago Double Shot because it was such a special show. CM Punk's last official Ring of Honor show and uh, part of the reason why it held a lot of special meaning to me is because of what CM Punk meant to me. When I first discovered uh, CM Punk I was just out of high school about to be a freshman in college when I first heard of this guy named CM Punk. I was just starting to discover the independent wrestling scene and uh, CM Punk really stood out to me because of his persona, the straight edge persona, no drugs, no alcohol, that kind of lifestyle because I had been living that kind of lifestyle in high school because uh, I had had, without getting too personal, uh, I had had a history in my family of uh, abuse and so I had told myself I was not going to go down that path. But through high school, I was kind of embarrassed uh, that I lived that way. Uh, I wasn't really proud of it because I felt like an outcast because a lot of kids in my class were doing that kind of stuff. You know, it seemed like every weekend everybody had new stories about uh, the drunken shenanigans that they had gotten into over the weekend. So, you know, I almost felt ashamed, embarrassed that I wasn't like the other kids in high school, that I chose to kind of separate myself from everybody else. And so it led to me having a very small circle of friends. And like I said, I felt kind of like an outcast. And here I was about to go into college and uh, I was thinking, man, I'm going to be so alone. I'm not gonna have any friends in college because I'm not gonna do the drinking thing. And I'm just gonna end up keeping to myself and CM Punk, when I saw him and I saw this guy, here's a guy that's living the same lifestyle I was. No drugs, no alcohol, and he was proud of it. And he was doing it on a stage in professional wrestling that, you know, it's always been my lifelong passion, professional wrestling. I've always dreamed of someday maybe getting to be in the industry. So to see somebody like CM Punk, you know, no drugs, no alcohol, preaching that lifestyle. Obviously, he was doing it as a heel character at the time, but just the fact that he was proud of that made me realize I shouldn't be ashamed of being drug and alcohol free. So then, now that I knew that straight edge was a thing, I didn't even know straight edge was a thing, then I started proclaiming that I was straight edge because of CM Punk. CM Punk helped me to figure out who I was at a time where I had no idea you know, what kind of person I was going to be, you know, and I, like I said, I was ashamed that I didn't drink and smoke. CM Punk made me proud that I lived that way. So when Ring of Honor first came out with this straight edge shirt, I bought it and this was, was probably my most frequently worn shirt uh, all throughout college and, uh, you know, the years since. Uh, I still break it out from time to time, especially on a day like today for this special video. So Punk the final chapter, now that you know a little bit about what CM Punk meant to me, uh, now because of that, you know, I always tell people he was my all-time favorite wrestler uh, just because of what he meant for me on a personal level. So Punk the final chapter, for a lot of us, you know, at the time, we thought this really was the last time we were going to see CM Punk as we knew him because even back, you know, let's see, that was 2005, so 13 years ago, uh, the system wasn't the way it is now. You know, these days, a lot of these guys, they come from the indies into the WWE, into developmental and NXT. You know, they keep the same personas that we, you know, knew them for. Guys like Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Ricochet, Keith Lee now. You know, all those guys, you know, they pretty much retained the same characteristics and personalities that we, you know, grew to know and love from them on the indie scene and guys on the bigger stage like AJ Styles, like a Shinsuke Nakamura, like a Samoa Joe. By and large, same guys that we always knew when we were watching them in ROH and New Japan, TNA, those kind of places. But at the time, 13 years ago, when CM Punk was leaving for developmental in the WWE, we didn't know if we were ever going to see the CM Punk that we knew 
again because that was during the time where if you got brought into developmental you were probably given a different look different character different name you weren't you know you were basically reset from scratch and built up for the WWE system so we didn't know if we were going to see the CM Punk that we knew again unless maybe things didn't work out with the WWE and then maybe he'd come back after that but for the time being you never know what you know these guys careers are going to take so punk the final chapter a lot of us saw this as this is the farewell to CM Punk this is gonna be the last time we see him as we know him and that's why it was such an emotional night because CM Punk was so beloved by the Ring of Honor fan base and by the indie fans in general you know to see a big name like that basically saying you know see you later guys you know that was a big emotional moment for us I was in the stands for punk the final chapter I was crying during his entrance. I was crying during his post-match speech. Uh, it was an emotional night that meant a lot to his fans because, like I said, we weren't sure if we were going to see the CM Punk that we knew and loved ever again. Obviously, we did. He would go on and be the same CM Punk we knew in developmental. He would pretty much be the same CM Punk we knew in WWE up until he walked out. It's unfortunate his career in WWE ended the way it did. I always keep holding out hope that maybe someday we'll see him pop back up on the indies or maybe a New Japan run or back in ROH someday. But... Uh, yeah, Punk the Final Chapter, it was an emotional moment, it was a very fun moment, a lot of great memories with my friends, and uh, getting to send off one of my all-time favorite wrestlers onto the big stage. Obviously, he would have that one appearance uh, at an unscripted show, uh, you know, a couple of months later, but uh, that I don't really think should count, because that was just a one-off. CM Punk's true last ROH uh, farewell, Punk the Final Chapter, an emotional moment, a very fun show, and uh, excited to get to be a part and shoot this video for an honorable mention. You can follow me on Twitter, at RadioZT. And uh, I work with an honorable pod every week, hoping to make Jeff and Shane sound about as good as I can. So thank you to Jeff and Shane for uh, providing me the platform to do this little video to talk about my experience with CM Punk and what Punk the Final Chapter meant for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, who knows, maybe this isn't the last time you'll see or hear from me on an honorable mention. This is the Scientist Sound Zach Johnson signing off. See you guys.